Yo, what's up guys, Surgical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys see, I'm 9-0 in the Dragon Hunt Challenge, complete the hunt. So this is actually a really nice challenge because you have and a free emote and actually a bunch of good rewards. I'll actually show the emote real quick. So as you guys see, you have an Easter egg and then popping out of that is a baby dragon. You actually already have a baby dragon emote. It's kind of similar, but right now kind of uh, yeah, in like the Easter egg, um, how do you say that, like mood. So anyways, as I said, the rewards are actually pretty good. You get quite a lot of dragons, like uh, electric dragons, like the cards of it. And actually at 12 wins as well, you get one Inferno dragon. So definitely not a bad challenge at all. And it's actually pretty fun because it's a new game mode. Like, I don't know if you guys have played this game mode yet, but it actually spawns, I don't know how to say this, kind of like a capsule. Not sure if I say this correctly. Uh, of elixir it has like 2000 hp and then the first person to kill um get yeah, that thing or capsule i don't know how to pronounce it i'm sorry if i pronounced it wrong um but anyways like a dragon randomly spawns like you don't know what dragon it can be inferno dragon can be a baby dragon or it can be electro dragon so it can be one of those and it doesn't necessarily have to be like if you just got a baby dragon then right now you can't get a baby dragon anymore like it's completely random uh, but it's actually really fun and in my opinion this is the best deck for this challenge guys this deck is actually super solid in general but it's actually really versatile in this challenge as well because we have a lot of dps units to uh yeah to be able to try to get the dragon as soon as possible for example with i don't know let's say like prince spear goblins uh bats um i don't know even inferno tower inferno tower is actually really good because let's say we do end up losing uh then inferno tower yeah still gets a lot of value against for example the dragon and whatever unit they drop to be able to take the dragon and then of course like triple spells which actually helps a lot because let's say they have for example i don't know um skeleton army goblin gang whatever like trying to take down like the um, yeah the thing in the middle i don't really want to pronounce it wrong all the time but yeah as you guys see here it is so i'll actually start off with inferno tower over here guys uh looks like he goes with a mini pekka so this is actually a perfect example why, okay so looks like he does go with a zap let's see if we still win the fight no so looks like he will be able to win the fight but this is a perfect example why inferno tower is actually really good uh yet yeah, to be able to go or to be able to try to uh, take it down because this way like the inferno tower actually ended up getting his dragon uh helped kill his mini pekka and then we can just go with a barbell for the musketeer let's also send the miner just to be able to get some chip damage um and pressure a little bit don't want to poison yet because i feel like i'm down a little bit of elixir but i think it's fine if we poison um yeah i guess i can just go with a poison to be able to take care of the furnace and then also be able to get some chip damage so it looks like again there's another one let's actually again go with inferno tower maybe it's better to go with a prince but as you guys see he does go with the e-barb so i mean prince not sure if the prince would have been able to win this fight and then again as i said the inferno tower actually still helps like defending the units he uses to try to take the um, yeah to try to win the fight like to be able to get the dragon so it looks like he goes with a witch let's actually go with a snowball here looks like he also went with a zap so the snowball actually pushes back the witch allowing the inferno dragon and the prince to lock onto the tower and they might actually be able to take down the tower looks like it will be able to take care of the tower so that's really nice and knowing that he used the zap i think that we should be able to defend this counter push uh yeah quite easily let's actually go with spear goblins to the side let's actually go with a bar barrel and oof looks like he actually oof unfortunate timing the dragon just spawned luckily for us it is an inferno dragon so Inferno Dragon, of course, isn't great against Swarm units, so the Spear Goblins and the Bats will still be able to get a lot of value. And I guess I would just, yeah, let's actually kite the um, Inferno Dragon. I could have sent a Miner on defense, but uh, yeah, didn't really feel like sacrificing a Miner. I'd much rather just go with a Prince. So it looks like he goes with E-Barbs, Raged E-Barbs. Let's actually go with a Miner. Let's go with Spear Goblins. So that was actually a really good defense on our part. Only 5 flicks. So it looks like he also went with a Zap and he fully ignored the Prince. So that's definitely not what you want to do, guys. Um... Let's actually go with another Inferno Tower. I think, yeah, he, he used his Zep, so for sure we'll win this one. Musketeer against Inferno Tower. Like, once the Inferno Tower uh, heats up, there's no way. Oof, unfortunately, it's a Baby Dragon, so Baby Dragon isn't that good against Musketeer. Let's actually help it. Bad Poison on my part? No, not that bad. I actually thought the Witch wouldn't be uh, in range, but it actually ended up walking into it, so not that bad. Let's go with a Prince on defense for the E-Barbs. Let's actually go with um, Spear Goblins over here. Let's go with a Minor Defensive. And we should be able to defend this one pretty easy. Inferno Tower getting so much value. Like taking uh, care of the um, yeah, dragon. But then also taking care of like the units he drops afterwards. So let's actually go with bats. Let's go with prince. Uh, let's go with spear goblins. And let's see. Okay, so I think we will be able to take care of this dragon. But anyways, I don't think we will lose the tower, guys. Only 13 seconds left. Looks like we got an Inferno Dragon. Let's go with a barbell. Uh, kind of on, on offense slash defense. Let's then send the miner. Let's go with a snowball. Let's see if we can take care of the second tower. It looks like we will be able to take care of the right tower. So that's a clean 2-0 uh, yeah, victory. Let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. So that actually puts us at 10-0. And at 10 wins, we actually do get the new emote. So that's actually really hype, guys. 
let's see um yeah there you go a 10 win so let's collect it right away and let's actually put it in our emote deck as well they also just released like the miner and the pekka emote by the way i got it right away uh let me know what you guys think about those i actually really like the minor one even though it's pretty basic like i still like it so let's actually put this emote in guys let's put it i guess instead of uh, the bunny so as you guys see ba basically the same as the baby dragon emote just a little bit different like it's popping out of the easter egg right now so i actually really like this emote let me know what you guys think about this emote and let me know how you guys are doing in the dragon hunt challenge by the way do you guys like the new game mode in my opinion it's pretty fun sometimes a little bit random though but i guess it's um yeah like pretty fun in my opinion so let's go with prince let's go with bets uh he says wow 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 so i'm not sure i guess it's worth it like going for the um for the dragon as soon as possible i mean he didn't really spend anything so he was able to or like he will be able to defend quite easily as well but we will be able to get one uh yeah prince step in so that's really nice let's go with a bar barrel on defense let's actually go with spear goblins unfortunately yeah i was about to say unfortunately the bar barrel will go back for the miner so let's actually go with a snowball uh good damage on his part we'll be able to all the way bring it down to 1682 hp so we do need to watch out guys but let's actually go um, i guess we can go with a oof he actually went with a pekka let's go with bets hopefully he doesn't have zap so pekka for sure will be able to win here hopefully the prince will be able to um okay e dragon we do need to watch out here hopefully the e dragon yeah i was about to say hopefully the e dragon will be targeted because if not we definitely had a big problem guys and I think we still might have a big problem. Let's actually... Okay, I'll just... I kind of have to take the Bandit. Even though the Bandit will be able to take it down until like 1400 HP. Don't really... I mean, I guess I could go with a Miner here. But it's not really worth it. Especially because... Ooh, 1245 HP actually. Um, because anyways, like she already does so much damage. So I'd much rather... Yeah, just try to focus. Like take the advantage right now. So let's go with the Prince. He's... Uh, okay, that's really nice that he went with a Baby Dragon. Because Baby Dragon isn't that great of a dps dealer it's more like a splash damage dealer so that's definitely really good for us over here looks like it actually is an e dragon so let's go with a miner um looks like he goes with his bar pearl, so i guess we can go with spear goblins right now looks like the e dragon actually retargeted the baby dragon so that's really good prince is still there e dragon unfortunately does go to the, the left side tower um and right now we do have a pekka to deal with but i think it's fine we can just go with bats knowing that well he doesn't have a zap i think in his deck and he well i guess he could go with the e -Wiz, but it's not oh he does have a zap actually so he has Barbara, Zep, Pekka, uh, Ewis. Let's actually go with a Prince over here, guys. Let's see what he drops. Let's actually go with a Miner. Looks like he goes with his uh, bets. Let's go with Spear Goblins. So he will actually go with a Barbara, I assume. Yeah, looks like he went with a Barbara. So well played on his part. The Prince is still there. Let's see if we can win this fight. I don't think so. No, for sure not. He actually has also Ewis there. And a Baby Dragon. Oh, this time it's an E-Dragon. So hopefully it will kill the... Oof, that was actually pretty close. I was about to say, hopefully it will kill the E-Dragon before it actually stuns the Inferno Tower. Unfortunately, it didn't, so we do need to watch out over here, guys. Let's actually go with a bar barrel on defense. Um, but I think we still are fine. We do need to watch out. Our tower is actually really low right now. Bennett is able to kill one of the Spear Goblins. Let's see. Oh, he actually went with a P.E.K.K.A. while playing his part. Let's go with Inferno Tower. Hmm, really close match. We definitely need to catch the, um, the next Miner. Looks like we will be able to hopefully get this next dragon which might be able to help us out a little bit let's go with prince uh let's actually go with a barbell and let's see guys let's actually go with a miner let's go with spear goblins and let's see what he drops so he might go with another no he will not go with another pekka let's go with inferno tower on defense look at the prince prince will not be able to charge and let's see if we can catch his next miner let's go with a prince let's go with a barbell he will probably end up Pekka, so let's actually go with a Miner in the back of the tower. Inferno Tower is still there, let's actually go with Bets to try to take that, uh, to try to win the next fight for the Dragon. And let's see guys, Miner is able to get a lot of chip damage right now, we just need to make sure like we catch his next Miner. Let's go with Snowball. Okay, let's go with the Prince guys, let's go with a Miner, this is actually so close, but I think we are looking pretty good so far. Miner is there. Poison is going down and the Prince is able to charge onto the tower. Let's give him a good game. Let's give him a wall plate and let's give him a thumbs up. So he actually played this really well. Him having Zep, E-Wizard, um, Baby Dragon. Like this deck is actually pretty weak against Baby Dragon. And then of course like the Bar Pearls well definitely made it really hard. But we still managed to win guys. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video. This deck is just super versatile. Like it's actually really good against uh, many decks. Even if he has multiple spells and like Pekka e -Wiz with Baby Dragon. Um, yeah, we still managed to win, so that was actually really nice. 11-0 in the Dragon Hunt Challenge right now, so let's collect the 5k gold, and let's then hop into the next match. Hopefully, we'll be able to win this one, and then we actually end up, uh, yeah, finishing the challenge 12-0. That would actually be insane. 
So let's see, looks like he goes with his witch. Um, I guess I would just let this be. So sometimes it's actually okay to just let it be. Like if you don't really have a right ha uh, right card in your hand, it's totally fine. Especially if in this case, like it's um, E-Dragon. So let's actually see guys. Let's actually go with a snowball. Nice snowball. Actually did miss one of the bets, but that's fine. So one Spear Goblin will be able to help um, a little bit with the witch. Yeah, we'll be able to help a little bit with the witch. Taking care of the skeleton. So looks like he goes with his Inferno Tower. Mm, I guess I would just let him have the other dragon as well. Like, I'm not too worried about it. I guess I can just focus uh, yeah, more a little bit on chipping away at the tower. So he will definitely win this fight because I didn't really feel like also going with Inferno Tower. And then I can just distract whatever he... Uh, ooh, I'll actually activate the King Tower over here. Okay, so we will be able to activate the King Tower, which definitely will help us at the uh, with the rest of the match. We did take a little bit of damage over there with... Um, We did take a little bit of damage over there with the E-Dragon, but that's totally fine. Went with a Snowball for the Wish, just to be able to push her back a little bit. And then also, uh, yeah, I was trying to get the Prince on uh, onto the tower. Uh, we actually did manage to get it onto the tower, so let's actually go with a Prince on defense, guys. Looks like he again um, went with a Witch. Let's actually go with Bats. A little bit of poor Bats placement, because he actually was able to splash a little bit with the Witch. So this time we will again lose the fight of the dragon but i think that's totally fine hopefully it will be an inferno dragon okay so it looks like baby dragon right now we do need to watch out oof this will actually be really hard for us to defend let's actually go with barbara on defense i think this will be tower for him yeah this will definitely be tower for him so we'll play his part really strange deck witch electro wizard um inferno tower and then hawk rider kind of like a psycho deck so we do need to watch out over here guys because we're actually yeah, losing of course, so let's go with a prince. We might end up... Okay, so it looks like he goes worth 3 crown. Not sure if that's the right play. Okay, so it looks like this time it will be Inferno Dragon. Uh, let's go with Spear Goblins. Looks like he goes with his Electro Wizard. Let's actually go with a Barbro over here. And let's pressure the other lane knowing that his electro wizard and which is out of cycle let's go with a miner let's go with spear goblins he does have the inferno tower again and inferno tower of, is of course really good against um yeah prince let's go with a giant snowball over here let's see if we're able to get some chip damage looking not so good over here guys lumberjack does end up going down and i think that he will okay let's actually go with a prince let's actually go with a miner but I think this is a good game. Only 6 seconds left. No way for us to take down the tower. The witch is still there. Electro witch is still there. Bats is still there. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. So he definitely played this really well guys. Unfortunately no 12-0 for us. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it with the next match. So I would say let's just hop into the next match right away. So not sure what, uh, what went wrong there. Like we didn't really have a good situation to be able to try to take down... Um, Okay, so looks like he also has Inferno Tower. So lots of Inferno Tower actually. Looks like people realize that Inferno Tower is actually really good. Um, especially in this mode. So Prince will not be able to take care of the Inferno Tower. I guess I will just go with a Barbrill. Uh, distracting, hopefully in time. Oof, a little bit late. So let's also go with a Snowball. Bad timing on my part. Snowball will be able to retarget that. So let's actually go with Bats. I just hope that he doesn't have a Zap. Okay, looks like he doesn't have a Zap. So that's good. Still two hits from the Hulk Rider. So still not looking too good for us. But I think that's fine. So let's see guys, he has, uh, no, I was about to say he has Baby Dragon, but he doesn't. So hopefully this Inferno Tower will not be able to take care of that. Oh wow, that actually... Oof, okay. He actually played that really well. I didn't even know that Inferno Tower would also be able to take care of the second Dragon. So let's go with Spear Goblins for Distraction. Let's have the Bar Barrel ready on defense. Let's go with the Bar Barrel right now. And let's see guys, so... I will go with a snowball on defense and then I will have my, yeah, I was about to say Inferno Tower ready in case he goes with a Hawk Rider. So Inferno Tower here, actually I want to keep it alive, um, distracting the Musketeer with bats because this way like it should be able to win the fight. Yeah, as I, as I was about to say, it should be able to win the next uh, dragon and hopefully this time we'll be able to get some chip damage. So it looks like the Inferno Dragon will go to the right side. He will distract it with Skeleton, so we'll play his part. Unfortunately, that will not be able to deal any damage. Um... And let's see guys, so I guess I can just go with a prince and then probably just barbell if needed like the witch. Yeah, let's go with a barbell just to make sure like the prince will actually be able to uh, look on the witch. Oh, looks like it's still locked onto the skeleton, but that's fine guys. Mm, let's see. He does not have skeleton cycle, he'll probably just distract it. Yeah, I was about to say, he'll probably just distract it with... Um... 
Oh, I wish I had a zap over there because if I was able to zap the Inferno Tower, would have been able to easily yeah, take care of that. So I think the Inferno Dragon will actually be able to take care of the E-Dragon without taking any damage. Let's actually go with Miner. Let's actually go with a Snowball. Knowing that he doesn't have a zap. Oh, he actually does have a zap. That's actually really interesting. I was about to say, knowing that he doesn't have a zap. I think this should be a good play, but it looks like he actually didn't use it or didn't have it in cycle earlier on. So let's actually go with Barbell. Let's actually go with Spear Goblins to the side, knowing that he doesn't have Zap in cycle. Let's actually go with Bats for Distraction. Um, and let's see, guys. So should be a pretty good Poison Oath here. We'll also be able to help a little bit with the Dragon. Hopefully we win. Looks like we do win. So the E-Dragon will be able to uh, stun the Inferno Tower. And the Prince might actually be able to charge onto the Tower. Looks like it will be able to charge onto the Tower and get another hit. So we might actually end up switching lanes over here, guys. We actually have more damage into the right side right now than we had in the left side. So let's actually go with a prince. Let's actually go with a bar barrel. Looks like he also has a look. Let's go with spear goblins to the side. Looks like he also went with his zap. So quite a lot of elixir spend on his part. Let's actually go with bets over here. Let's go with a miner. Um, poison as well. Not the best poison, but still that's fine. Let's actually see. Let's go with inferno tower. Hopefully we'll be able to win this one. Let's go with a bar barrel over here. And for sure, yeah, we'll be able to win this one. So we should be able to take care of the Musketeer, at least his Inferno Tower will be able to take care of our Inferno Dragon, but that's fine. Looks like he went with a Zep, so the Hawk Rider will not be able to uh, yeah, get a hit on the tower, but he will be able to take care of the Inferno Tower fully. So let's actually go with a Miner over here, let's actually go with a Poison. Um, oh, looks like the Prince, no, I was about to say, oh yeah, it actually will be able to go back, I was about to say it will be uh, pushed back. Or pulled back by the skeletons. Let's go with a snowball prince. We'll be able to look on the tower. Miner will be able to get another hit. And it's actually a good game, guys. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. So definitely well played on his part. Those matchups were actually pretty tough, guys. Like really strange decks. Um, but we were still able to complete the challenge 12 1. So that's actually still really nice. Let me know if you guys uh, yeah, already started playing the challenge. Let me know how you guys are doing in the challenge so far. And let me know what you guys think about this emote. In my opinion, it's actually a really fun emote. But anyways, guys, this will do it for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to try out this deck. This deck is definitely really solid. But in general, like you can try a bunch of things, of course. In my opinion, Inferno Tower is actually really good in this uh, game mode. Maybe I should actually swap in a Zep, like instead of Snowball, like to be able to reset other uh, people's Inferno Tower. I feel like that would have helped actually a lot in certain situations. But anyways, this deck is uh, yeah, still really solid. As you guys just saw, like we finished the challenge 12 one so yeah, this will do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.